Nestled in Santa Ana's business district is a unique and eclectic eatery called Original Mike's. And two Sundays out of the month, Mike throws a big old party for us car enthusiasts. The event is called Gasoline Alley. I just love that name. Hi everyone, I'm jean of Chappelle and welcome to Velocity TV, brought to you by Original Parts Group. Original Parts Group, excellent service and quality parts since 1982. Once a magnificent Buick dealership in 1919 is now Original Mike's, a sprawling eatery bar and nightclub. Unlike any other restaurant in Orange County, it's also an automotive museum, as well as one of Santa Ana's most popular live music venues. Diners have a choice of eating in the exhibit space amongst the museum's vintage cars or outside on the patio. The locals say the ambiance is instantly appealing and certain to delight at every turn. Gasoline Alley is a newer event, yet one of the fastest growing car shows in Orange County. In just a couple months, we've seen the contenders go from 30 to well over 100. And it's no wonder you get free registration and coffee and donuts in the morning. There's a live band and good eats for under $10. Plus, chatting it up with a bunch of local car enthusiasts while you're surrounded by sweet rides. I mean, hey, what more could we ask for? Speaking of sweet rides, let's go check some out. Original Mike's, good cooking, good eating, good living. We're starting out today with a 63 Chevy half ton and it was a boy's dream to have this truck. Well, let's meet that boy, he's all grown up now. Hey Robert, how's it going? Good. This truck is beautiful, I mean, end to end, so clean. Tell me where you picked it up. I picked it up from a guy out in the city of Buena Park in Orange County and I bugged him for about six months. Then he finally came around and said if I was still interested in the truck, I said yes. So I picked it up, and believe it or not, I paid about $500 for the truck. Oh, nice, but $500 so, it probably wasn't in this mint condition. No. Let's start here under the hood. Tell me what kind of motor you have. I got a, a 350 small block Chevy, and uh, it's mild built. It's got a 400 turbo manual shift in it with a 1968 Chevelle rear end 12 volt posse. Nice. It really moves out on the freeway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it does. <laughs> All right, what about the color? What's the color called? Uh, the color, actually, it's... Uh, people ask me about the color, and I normally say pretty blue, because yeah. I started off with the 1957 turquoise blue, and it was too green, so I started adding colors to it, and this was a color I came up with. Actually, it's a numbered color, so I really couldn't give you the nice. color on it, so basically that's why I say pretty blue. Robert Rodriguez custom color, pretty blue. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You had to have like built anticipation, just going, okay, a couple more months, I'm gonna start this baby up. That's what it was. When you get to that <laughs> last few minutes of uh, getting ready to start it, that's when your blood starts uh, yeah. getting hotter and getting rushed. <laughs> and uh, when you finally get it started, uh, you just can't wait to run around the corner in it and let everybody look at you and say, I've accomplished my dream. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, Robert, thank you so much for thank sharing you. it with us. Thank hey, you. you got a name for this baby? Yes, uh, I named it Homegrown 63 because I built the truck at home in my garage. Well, there you go. Yeah. Homegrown 63. We like it a lot. Thank you. <laughs> European Motor Car Works, an award-winning finish on every vehicle. As most of you know, I love trucks, so this 31 Ford Roadster pickup really caught my attention. Jim, you are a lucky man. How long have you owned this truck? About six years. Six years. And did it look like this when you got it? Not even close. Let's talk about where you found it. Uh, Lake Big Bear, uh, underneath a pine tree, uh, right. on a lady's property. Now, did you drive by? or Because we don't get barnyard finds really in California, which is a bummer, but this is almost like a mountain under the tree find. Yeah. How no. did you acquire it? Uh, a friend of mine called me while I was in Las Vegas, uh, saying that he heard about this truck that was going to come up for sale. And so I drove to Big Bear, started contacting all the real estate agents that might know where this might be because the house was for sale, and that's how I found it. it. Sounds like you did a lot of work to get this truck. Why? Desperation. Uh, when you're trying to find something as unique as this, uh, if you're the first one to hear it, you have to, you have to be the first one there to get it. Right. Ah, that's, that's a good tip for our viewers. And all the parts in the motor are all vintage. Everything is vintage um, on top of the engine. Everything in the engine uh -huh. is new. So what exactly does that mean? Okay, well the head castings and the block castings came out of the GM Bowtie catalog, so they're new. But everything in the block is Childs and Albert 
Everything in the heads is Manly or Childs and Albert. Nothing in the, in the engine is Chevrolet, just the castings. Then everything that's shiny bolted onto the engine on the outside, it's all older pieces that were manufactured back in the 60s. You had to have just had a blast restoring this truck. Oh yeah, building them's half the fun, and driving them's the other half. I was just gonna say, what's your favorite part? Oh, you just answered it. Driving it, <laughs> yeah. And how often do you get to drive the truck around? Uh, at least a couple of two, three times a week. Oh, nice. See, I love when I hear that. You know, you take all the time to restore a truck like this. It looks this good. Have some fun with it, guys. Get it out of the garage, right? Oh, absolutely. Before they make them illegal. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, thank it's been you. a pleasure. Okay. Richardson Insurance Services integrity, expertise, reliability. Hanging out with Don Hover here. He's the owner to this beautiful black 56 T-Bird. How long have you had this car? Uh, I've had this car just about 10 years. Uh, uh, no, I bought it in 1999. 1999. Yeah. So you've had it for a while. Why this make, model, and year? Well, in 1962, way back when, uh, I had one of these, and uh, I really liked the car, but also had two kids, and I couldn't afford to have another car, so I had to get rid of it. And when I found this one, I bought this. Now, did you buy it in this condition? Uh, yes, I did. I've uh, done two other cars, and uh, this one I bought already done because I didn't know if I was going to live long enough to do another car or not. So I bought this one already done. And all I do is just keep it up, and I do my own detailing. And uh, how often do you drive it? I drive it every day, no matter where really? I go. Yeah, I go to Home Depot, Ralph's, the doctor, the lawyer, wherever I go, I wow. drive this car. How do you keep it so nice? Because black can be very unforgiving. It's kind of my hobby, and I like to I like to keep it clean and do the detailing. So now I have a thing for original documentation, and mm -hmm. I just love that you've kept all that. My favorite part is the eight dollar registration. <laughs> I mean, how great.